What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys like my uh, Miss Frizzle hairdo because that's what we're working with today. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be me answering commonly asked questions about working in a national park. I get one or two DMs every now and then about um, just specific questions that people have when it comes to working in a national park. Things from like the food to how often they, someone's calling me. Hello. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase and go ahead and start going through the questions that I've been DM'd on Instagram. Um, and then also some comments that I've been left on my other videos and just consolidate them into one video, which is this one. So the first and most common question is how did I apply for the job? So I applied for the job online. I went to Zantara's website and the reason I knew to go to that website is because I had a friend that previously worked for them. Um, so I already knew where to look. Once you go on the website, it's pretty self-explanatory. You go to careers and you choose the park that you want to apply for. And from there, it's a breeze. So another question I get a lot is how many hours a week did I work and did I feel as if I had enough time to do other things? And I've gotten this one from a couple of people. Um, so I worked full time, but I did have two days off a week, which gave me the advantage that I was, that I needed to like go out and go and do things. Like I could go on a hike or camp somewhere overnight. Another question I got is how does it work if you need to ask time off? So either people had vacations they were already planning or like concerts they wanted to go to while they were working in Yellowstone. And basically when you get to Yellowstone, you're, you can request that time off. You can also request that time off, I believe, when you apply. Just let them know, hey, there's going to be two or three days in the end of July that I need um, off so I can go and travel somewhere. And generally they're really okay with it. Also, if you're in the scenario where you have to go to a funeral or something along those lines when you're working in the park, um, Zantara is really great about giving you the time off you need to go and fly and visit home so you can go to that funeral and come back if you'd like to. One question I got that was very specific was, what do you do if you're a vegetarian and you're going to Yellowstone? So when I was in Yellowstone, I was a vegetarian and basically I went vegetarian for moral reasons, but also because I knew the food was better in the employee dining rooms if you get the vegetarian option. Like they have eggplant parmesan and stuff like that that's really good and if they know you're a vegetarian, they'll like serve it to you. And it was great. Like they could completely accommodate a vegetarian diet. Um, if you are vegan, I think that'd be really hard to do if you're in Yellowstone, but they do serve a lot of rice. Um, so that is really the only like completely vegan thing I can think of. And I don't know if they put butter in it or not. So if you're vegetarian, you can survive in Yellowstone or working for Zantara. If you're vegan, I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Another one I got was what do you do if you don't show up for every shift? Like, will you get fired? And I experienced with some people they didn't show up for their shifts and the higher ups with Zantara and uh, Yellowstone liked them enough that they wouldn't fire them and they would essentially just switch them to another job that way they wouldn't have been late for that job too many times um, and then there are other times where you know if you just don't show up for work they're gonna fire you and if they fire you when you're in Yellowstone you are in charge of getting yourself home you are no longer Zantara's problem. And if I remember correctly, I believe you have 24 hours to like get out of your dorm and go somewhere else. So it's best if you do show up for work if you're going across the country to work. A very common question I get is, do they drug test? And Zantara does drug test, but not when you show up for your job, they randomly drug test. So basically like the management of whatever part of Zantara you're working at, whether it's in Yellowstone or Grand Canyon or anything like that, they randomly select people to drug test. And it's random, but I really think they drug test people they think are going to fail the drug test. Um, I had a couple of friends fired because they failed their drug test and they got sent home. Um, I don't think they charged them with anything like possession of drugs, but you never know what they're gonna do, especially because they always have the park rangers on speed dial. What month I started is also a common question that people asked and I personally started in July and I ended mid-October, um, but you can choose what month you start. Whenever you apply for your job, you give them like the season you're available in and you can start working there as early as April, May, or you can even work through the winter if you're planning on working at like a snow lodge in Yellowstone. Um, but basically your availability is what you put in when you're deciding which month to start in. Another question I got, I don't know how many times I'm going to say another question I got in this video. So another question I got, 
can you bring your car and does it cost extra if you do? So in Yellowstone, they don't charge you anything extra to bring your vehicle. Um, there's an employee parking lot at each set of dorms um, for like each village, so like Canyon Village and Mammoth and things like that. And you can park your car there for free. Um, sometimes it does end up costing a little bit more to drive across the country as opposed to like taking a flight or a bus. Um, but you know, the freedom of having a car, it kind of balances it out. I also drove a car that had premium fuel in Yellowstone. <laughs> I spent so much money on gas. A really great question I got was, is the pass that they give you for your car valid for the entire year? And it worked for me a whole year, so I'm gonna say yes. Um, you get a little sticker that goes on the outside of your driver's window that says like NPS, which stands for National Park Service, and then the year on it. And I believe it works until the end of December of that year. And it works at any national park, but the only like caveat there is that you have to have your car there with you. So you can't like fly to a national park and get in for free. Is getting a job there easy? Yes. As long as you sound like a normal human being during your phone interview, you will most likely get the job. Because they kind of always need people, in my experience. How did I pick Yellowstone? Um, so I picked Yellowstone because I had a friend that worked there previously that I mentioned earlier in this video, and she worked as a server in Lake Lodge, and she loved it, um, and she came home, and it was about a year later that I finally turned 18, and I was able to go out and go to Yellowstone, and so that is how I picked it. Um, I had never even Googled pictures of Yellowstone before I went there. So when I got there, I was like, oh crap, where am I? And it, it's beautiful. It's amazing. So that's how I picked Yellowstone. How much did you make? I should probably remember how much I made, but I can honestly say that I don't. I know it was under $10, um, an hour, not the whole time I was there. Um, so initially I started working in the deli in Canyon Village, which they actually don't have the deli there anymore because they renovated it and put it back to like its former glory. Um, but at the deli, I believe I made like $8.33 initially. Um, and then after working there for a couple of weeks, I got promoted to shift lead. And I wanna say I made closer to like $9.50 an hour and I could be wrong, but I never felt like I was like at a lack of money while I was there. Just cause if you worked overtime and stuff like that, you made a little bit extra. Zantera also does a program where you get a bonus for every hour or every full shift that you work, you get X amount of cents. And then um, at the end of the season, you get a check if you finish your contract out in the mail for your bonus for the season. So you're making like not exactly a ton of money while you're there, but it's nice to come home. And like, I think my bonus check was like $620, which was nice because it was money I kind of forgot I was gonna end up getting. And all I had to do was actually work like between July and mid-October and not leave in the middle of it to earn that. Did you get free tours as an employee and how did that work? Um, so I did not get any free tours as an employee, unfortunately, but I did get some discounts. Um, at one point I was dating one of the Wranglers in Yellowstone um, for the Canyon Village. So I was able to get like a discounted ride there and me and four of my friends went. Um, and that's really the only reason I did the horseback riding. I'm sure you can get discounts on other Xantera offered tours there. Um, you just have to go to like the check-in, um, what is it called? There's like a customer service building in every uh, little village in Yellowstone and you just go there and ask them, hey, what's offered? Here's my Xantera ID. And basically that ID is your key to getting discounts. You can also get discounts on certain hotels. Um, there's a Holiday Inn in um, Bozeman, Montana where I believe you get like 30% off if you have your Xantera ID. So different hotels will also give you discounts with your Xantera ID. You just have to call ahead and ask. How did I do my resume? Um, so my resume, I finished for a senior project during my 12th grade year in high school. Um, so I don't really remember how I did it. I know I did not have a cover letter um, just because it was kind of an informal job application in general. So usually like if today I was applying for a job, I would 100% put a cover letter, but I don't think Xantera exactly has standards that high. However, if you are aiming to get a position um, working in like upper management or something of that sort, obviously you should do a cover letter just because it makes you look like a little bit more top notch than if you did not do one. Another question I got is, can you drink in the dorms? So um, certain dorms you can drink in, other dorms you cannot. So when I worked there, I lived in the Bison dorm in Canyon Village, and that is the 21 and under dorm. Um, even if you are over 21 years old, you essentially will probably get fired if you get caught having alcohol in that dorm, um, or even like the remnants of alcohol. 
I had a friend from Ecuador that was working in Yellowstone and um, she had an empty Jack Daniels bottle with flowers in it in her dorm and for some reason the um, park rangers ended up in her room one night and she got a minor in possession of alcohol um, because she had an empty Jack Daniels bottle in the 21 and under dorm. So they take that very seriously. If you're in a dorm that's not 21 and under, they really do not care. You can also drink in the employee pub. So if you don't want to drink in your dorm room or like your roommate is totally against drinking or something like that, you have somewhere you can always go. Do you get to choose your roommate? No, you don't know anybody when you end up in Yellowstone. Um, the management, I can't remember. I know this guy's name that gave me my roommate, but I can't remember his role in like the management operation. But basically he had this girl named Jess and he decided that her and I would be a good match and he made me her roommate. And the most awkward thing about getting a roommate in Yellowstone is they don't always tell that person they're getting a roommate. Like Jess was, she visited me um, in Idaho a couple weeks ago and her and I were chatting about it and we talked about how the first day that like I met her, I just like knocked on the door and used my key and unlocked it. And she was like, who are you and why do you have a key to my room? So no, you don't get to pick your roommate. They just kind of like give you one um, and hopefully they'll let them know before you move in that they're getting a roommate. <laughs> do the gas stations sell cigarettes up there? And they do. So if you smoke, no worries. You have a place to buy cigarettes. Um, the only thing is they are so expensive up here. Like, well, they're not as bad as some places. Like I was in Boston last week and I think it was like 780 for a pack of cigarettes and I don't smoke, but I always look just cause I'm very curious about it. So I'm originally from down South and I think it's like 480 a pack of cigarettes. Might be misquoting you cause I haven't been there in a while. But so Boston, it was like $7 for a pack of cigarettes and it, the prices are very similar in Montana. Um, if you do smoke, the best thing to do is there is a smoke shop in Cody, Wyoming and they sell them by the carton and it's a lot cheaper when they sell them by the carton. Um, and I know you can buy cartons from gas stations, but for some reason, something about the store must be super cheap compared to other places because it was two and a half hours away from Cannon Village and I had people ask me to drive them there on almost a weekly basis. So you smoke or you dip or you get beer or anything like that. Um, don't be worried. And I had another question asking if there's places to buy beer and there are um, the general stores that are at like every village area sell beer and they have everything from like PBR to like black velvet to nicer wines to like really crappy cheap wines. So you'll have a good selection. No worries, friends. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you are interested in asking me any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, or you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is at casually Carolyn. It's me, Carolyn. I'm casual. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, videos like this are always fun to make because y'all gave me a little bit of ammunition to, uh, have a video. And, um, sometimes it's hard to continue making videos on this content because there's really only so much you can talk about when it comes to seasonal work. Thank you guys so much once again. Um, if you guys want to, you can subscribe. Um, I'll be putting out some more content soon. Um, or you can give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, that really supports my channel and gets me up there like if people search my videos. So um, without further ado, I will end this video and stop rambling. So thanks guys, have a good day, bye. That's it. Bye. I am done filming this video. I've done so many things in between the start and the end and the lighting is really different, but that's okay because I finished it. And that's your song for the day. Thanks guys. Bye.